No, uh, Facebook. There was a reason that Facebook was only for college kids. Now they cracked it open, made it for everybody. The reason why it was just for college kids was because it is geared towards people with way too much free time. And the updates? Go to Facebook. I can see what's going on with everybody I know. The, uh... That's going to come back to haunt some people. Charlie is having a hard time getting started today. Like you put your little uh, status update. You know what? I'm Charlie's boss. I don't want to see that. You know what, Charlie? Get to work. Oh, you keep updating your status thing every every uh, 20 minutes? Get on my watch? Having a hard time getting started? I'll, pu- I'll pour a cup of coffee on your head. That gets you started? Too negative, Tom. Stop. Too negative. Let's put a topic on the table. A fun topic. All right, we all want to get 2008 started on the right note. And there's always people who bring down the year, right? So, who are the people that if we want to get 2008 started on the right note, who are the people that you would put in a submarine that's going to get dropped to the bottom of the ocean? Who are those people? This is a brand new topic. Who are the people we're going to get this submarine, we're going to put them in there, going to weld the door shut, and then they're going to realize it has no engine in it. And it's just going to sink to the bottom of the ocean. Who are those people? That's not the topic! <laughs> the topic is... All right, let's get started. You get handed a laser gun, right? That can disintegrate people. Who is the person you disintegrate with that laser gun? That's not the topic either. All right, let's get a real topic on it. Seriously, let's knock it off. You have a mobile trapdoor that launches someone into the negative zone when they step on it. Who, so that you can make 2008 a better place, who do you get to step on that trapdoor? <laughs> no, that's next week, Mike. Next week will be who do you bury alive. We are going to do something we haven't done in a long time. Where is it? (laughs) A game called... Who's calling now? I don't want to hear this. FMU, you're on the air. Hey, Tom, how's it going? Oh, going all right. Who's this? Uh, Eric from uh, Booton. From where? Booton, New Jersey. From Booton. I'm in Parsippany. I'm actually at Taco Bell right now. Okay, so wait a minute. So you're from Booton, but you're in Parsippany now. Yeah, I'm okay. getting, getting some dinner, some din-din. Just want to get that clear. Yeah, I'm uh, at Taco Bell. You will be returning to Booton, though. Yeah, yeah, I'll be there. I'll be spending the night there. You will spend the night in Booton. At my residence after after my Taco Bell. What are you getting at Taco experience. Bell? Oh, I'm just I'm just gonna get a one Crunchwrap Supreme. Mmm. Of course, yeah. Beef it up, right? Sounds delicious. Mm, yeah. Mm. Nothing wrong. You got uh, the best kind of food is the kind of food <coughs> where you get a penny back. When you hand the person a single. Yeah, isn't that the truth? Well, I think it was it's like two eighty nine or something. I'm Get off my phone, you animal. Guy calling up talking about Taco Bell. The food is sick. Eat that garbage. 
Look, I'd really lace into uh, Taco Bell if my good friend Ted Leo wasn't the spokesman for it. He's actually going to go on the uh, Taco Bell uh, tour. It's very exciting with him and the dog. They're bringing the dog back. And he actually has to play that that Taco Bell music. Bong. Big Steve has a, a bell behind his drum set now. So anyway, by the way, did you see this thing, this Whopper freak out? What is that all? That It's the world ending. Is it ending now? Whopper freak out. It's this thing where uh, this uh, this wa- this uh, Burger King in uh, I think it's in Las Vegas. They took the Whopper off the menu for one day, and they filmed everybody as they did it. This uh, this uh, I was watching. They had a full length thing on uh, YouTube. If the commercials are not uh, conclusive enough, you can watch a full six minute version. Of these, uh, this parade of animals getting told uh, that the uh, Whopper, that the one configuration of the burger is not available. There's still uh, 30 other configurations. They take the same dumb hamburger and they drop it on the same dumb bun that they would have put the Whopper on. They just do it a little differently with the other 29 hamburgers. These people lo- uh, losing their marbles. What do you mean the Whopper's gone? You go back there, you get me a Whopper. Go back there and get, well, first of all, guy's not having a hard enough time in life working at Burger King. I think that's his goal. I was getting yelled at because uh, Burger King made some corporate decision. You go back there and get me a Whopper. Whopper. And you know what? If those mutants in that Whopper commercial, you got to figure. I could only imagine what the people who didn't make the cut of that Whopper commercial look like. If those are the people, if those are the haves in the Whopper uh, world here, if those are the people who, uh, if those are the people who made the cut, the uh, parade, it looked like, uh, Oh, I, I looked like I was uh, in a house of horrors watching that line, people. Yeah, guy, exact guy's like Whopper's America's hamburger. He, 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 a guy I think does say it's Americana. The Whopper. You can only imagine the. Uh, Oh, I could only imagine the people that didn't make the cut were there in the editing room. Guys like, uh, all right, put together a rough uh, 11-minute cut of this Whopper freakout thing. And they watch it, and there's some guy going, ooh, no way. Look at that. There's no way we want that guy (laughs) in any way to be the face of the Whopper. Big Bad Whopper. They got my Whopper. I'll never eat here again. Whopper freak out. These animals. Losing their minds. They could probably wrap any hamburger up in a thing. If they put it in the Whopper wrapper, these monsters would just tear into it. Whopper! Whopper! Probably just we got to worry they don't eat the wrapper. And then there's this like, as bad as those people are, I think the worst part of the thing is there's like some emo kid at one point in the commercial who does the the, the worst double take I've ever seen. He's like, it's like, uh, I want a Whopper? It's like, uh, Oh, sorry, sir. We don't have whoppers today. First of all, you got to call this. Uh, God, God have uh, mercy on the person that's got to call this kid, sir. Sorry, sir. We don't have the whopper, sir. Guy's dressed like uh, 
The guy's uh, dressed like he just got uh, shot out of a My Chemical Romance concert. And the kid's like, what? 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 He's like, what? what, what, what? And the worst part, he doesn't even know he's being filmed. That's that kid doing that in real life. Like an annoying double take like that. (laughs) Sorry, sir, there's no Whopper. Whopper. Yeah, I'm so mad. I love the Whopper. They should have done, they should have locked the doors. That place. Can't go there. Can't do. Can't do the trap door that launches them at the negative zone. It's too close to last week's topic. Or what if... Okay, here's the topic for this week's show. It's 2008. We all want it to be a great year. We lure these people into a a Burger King. And then you... uh, Then the door locks behind them. And then people will realize the Burger King is actually... The Burger King is actually going to be dumped into the ocean. Who do you want in that Burger King? No, it's going to be dropped into a volcano. (laughs) (laughs) FMU, you're on the air. Hi, Tom. Hi, who's this? This is Lori. Lori.